Hi everyone, today I am launching my Velveteen Liquid Lip Colour and it's a very exciting day for me so I wanted to show you all of the shades, I want to show you the different ways you can apply them, the different ways you can wear them, talk about the formula and of course how this came about. So to go back to the beginning, um, when I first launched my three true velvet lip colours, so the three reds, I had so many requests at the time for, oh, can you do those shades but in a liquid formula? And um, at the time I was a bit like, oh, I don't really, they're so amazing, the True Velvets. I was like, no, no, try them because they're such a beautiful texture and um, it's like a lips that you've never tried before. Um, but I kept getting requests, even from people who then bought the True Velvets. They were like, I love the True Velvets, but I really want to get a liquid version as well. I was never the biggest fan of like the original, going back sort of four or five years, liquid lips to me felt so drying on the lips. And as somebody myself with dry lips, I was always like, oh my God, no, I hate to feel as they dry down and they almost start to pu pucker your lips and um, pull them. Um, so I was really anti that. So I started looking for a way I could make a formula that also had skincare ingredients in, dried down really matte because that's the whole point of a matte liquid lip, but at the same time felt really comfortable and smooth and had that blurring quality that my True Velvet lip colours have as well. So that's how it came about. So really, if you're watching this and you are someone that requested it, and there's a lot of you, um, yes, I'm finally delivering what I believe is an amazing formula. So the way I feel about Velveteen is that it is the younger sister of the True Velvet lip colours. So if you can imagine having a glamorous older sister that went to nightclubs before you did and you watched her kind of getting ready and you were super jealous and she seemed so glamorous putting on her lipstick from the bullet, like looking into the mirror, that is the True Velvet lipstick, whereas the Velveteens are the younger playful sister. So it's very, very portable. You have lots of different effects you can achieve. So whether you do a light fluffy lip like I've done where you kind of really soften those edges and make them quite blurred, you can do a really soft blurred lip. Um, I'm gonna show you all of these different ways you can apply. So in terms of the formula, I was very, very fussy. In fact, it was supposed to launch last year and um, I was messing about with which ingredients I wanted to add because I was so, I guess, burnt myself from when I tried various liquid lips in the past and how they made my lips feel or look. And that was why I wasn't particularly a big user of liquid lipsticks. I wanted something that really felt hydrating. Of course, it's a matte, long-wearing um, lip colour. And that was another reason I think that I had so many requests for it because I know a lot of you that like um, liquid lips know that they do last really, really well. And as, as, as amazing and long wearing as the True Velvet in the Bullet is, it can never be as long wearing as a liquid lip. So you've got that really long wearing effect, but it feels hydrating, it feels cushiony. I've had this on for a while now and able to rub my lips together and feel like, even though my lips today are painfully dry, I woke up this morning, I think it's because I've been flying a lot recently, I haven't drank enough water, I know that. Um, so it's probably the best day actually to be demonstrating these because I do have horrendously dry lips. So yeah, I'm wearing a fair, um, wearing it as a sort of full on color rather than a fluffy stain, which I'm gonna show you all of these different ways you can wear it. And I was really fussy about not just the feel of it and how it wears and how it silky smooth it goes on and the application to be really effortless, but also researching and thinking, what can I put in it to help counteract the things that I don't like about a lot of the really traditional liquid lips. So I've put some of the ingredients that I already have in my skincare and some of my other products into this formula. So for example, there's passion, fruit, seed, oil extract, which is in my cleanser. There's the triglycerides, which are in my cleanser and also in my highlighter, my elevated glow. There's vitamin E oil, and there's also pomegranate extract. And there is a marine algae as well, which is really just nice for regenerating those lips. So some really nice actives in there. And um, you still get the matte finish and you still get the long wearing, but it still feels comfortable. So I'm launching with eight shades. We've got ribbon, which is obviously the OG. 
then fawn, muse, affair, blush, rain, dragon, and jazz. So eight great shades. So let's crack on. I want to show you all of these shades, how they look on the lips, and also the different effects that you can achieve with this formula. So I'm going to start with the lighter shade, and this is Fawn. And if you're familiar with Velvet Fawn, it's a really nice beige rose, and it's a colour that just works so well in the liquid. It almost is more pure, the colour, um, and it's one that when I was thinking which shade to do, I was thinking maybe four, maybe not. And then when I tried it as the liquid, I was like, oh yeah, that's really nice. So the pack is really, really nice and slim and elegant and perfect for chucking in your handbag, very portable. And the doe foot inside is again, really slim and elegant. And it has this side, which is slightly round. And then at the back, it has a little tilt to it. So that's really good for doing your lip line or for just filling in those edges and defining. So I've just put a little bit of lip balm on because my lips are so dry today. It's the worst. I woke up this morning and my lips were all cracked and dry and I thought, oh no, this is the day I'm going to fill my my um, liquid lip. But I thought, well, it's fine because at least it shows you it works on even the most dry lips. So I put some lip balm on, but I'm going to just blot because you don't want to have like thick lip balm on before you use something like a liquid lipstick because sometimes it can affect how it sets and how it settles down. So blotting first and then I'm just going to show you to start with how just to do an all over lip and how quick it is and how I use the applicator. And then I'll show you all different techniques and different ways you can get different effects with the Velveteen. So I'm going to start with the, the rounded side. Then I'm going to flip it round to the more, um, the sort of side with more of a point, an edge. I'm going to do a kind of, I guess, more of a defining shape, but this gives it more of a sort of blurry, fluffy edge. So that's just one application, so one dip. And you get a little bit of time. It's not one of those that sets like in, uh, in seconds. You get time to do any shaping or if you want to add another layer and dip in again, if you want more coverage, you can. And then as it's setting, it still feels really, really creamy. So. It doesn't feel like it suddenly dries down to the point where you can't, everything just feels like it's contracting almost and getting really, really tight. It still has that sort of slightly cushiony feeling to it, which is nice. So that's one layer, so one application. If you wanted to dip in twice because you want more coverage and a bit more color payoff, So that is two dips. And I like it because you can do a really nice soft lip line with this. So if you just want to go like, you know, I always like to overdraw my lower lips. So if you just smile slightly and use that fluffy back of the applicator. You can really soften. That edge, keep it nice and fluffy. So that's using the applicator, one dip and then two dips. So I just left that for a minute to completely dry down so you can see the color and also the finish, which is definitely matte by the time it's dried down, but it is still got that slightly blurring effect. So that is Fawn. 
So the next shade is a real favourite and that is Muse and this is a beautiful rosewood shade. It's almost like a dirty rose so it has that kind of pinkiness but it's not too pinky and it is a little bit earthy so it has got like a hint of warmth to it. So I'm going to start showing you some different techniques. So I am going to apply this as a full lip but I'm also going to show you how you can just do a really really soft blurry lip. So you can actually just sort of pop it onto the lips like that and then take your ring finger and then just tap it in. This is good if you don't really want to have like it all the way to the edge. You do want that really soft kind of effect. You can also do this with an eye brush, which I'm gonna show you with the deeper shade so you can really see the effect. But that just gives such a natural tint. So it's almost like there's nothing on the lips at all. It looks like it's got natural lip texture, but it still has the color. So that's a really nice way if you just want to almost enliven the color of your lip without having it look like you've got any lip product on at all. So that's Muse as a little, I guess we'll call that as a light stain. I'm going to apply this color now so you can see the color a little bit better on me using the same the way I did the, the previous shade, so just all over. You can see it's kind of really quick to apply. Just going to blur the edges a little bit and just give that one a minute to dry. So yeah, if I was still wanting to create shape, as I say, it doesn't dry down too quickly. So you can still do a little bit of um, whatever you want, like a little bit of shaping, or if you wanted to blur it a little bit more, you could. Um, depending on what sort of shape you're going for. I'm just going to give that one, I'm going to tap it actually. Make sure. Dry it a little bit quicker. So I've just let Muse fully dry down again so you can see the final effect of the colour because it does get slightly deeper as it fully dries and also the effect again so you can see the, the matte finish. And that is Muse. So the next shade is Rain and this is a really beautiful medium rose pink with warm undertones. So it's a great one if you have blue, well, I have actually some blue in my lips that I want to correct and it's really face enlivening. I absolutely love this colour. I thought I'd apply this one actually and show you more of a Korean lip shape. So this is more of a fluffy lip as opposed to a full lip that I've been doing so far. And this one is great if you just love that kind of Korean on lip effect. The best way to do it, depending on how full your lips is, is to use a really more of an eye blending brush, not one that's too big. So you can use one that's sort of that size or a smaller one, because the idea is that you want to really fluff the product out. So what I'm going to do is just apply it to the, almost like the inside of my lips to start with. And then using a fluffing brush, sort of graduate it towards the edge. So ultimately, the majority of the color is kind of there on the inside and then around the edge is much less makeup. You can even just go around with your concealer afterwards if you love this kind of effect. That's a really nice fluffy Korean ombre lip. Personally, I don't do this look myself, I'll be honest. You probably know that if you watch my videos because I love to overdraw my lower lip. I like it when it looks really full. So not being able to go down all the way or having it fade out is not my personal taste, but I do do this look on 
definitely for editorials and um, I know lots of my friends that absolutely look amazing in this kind of a lip look. So that is a fluffy ombre lip using rain. So now I'm going to go back in with rain and apply another coat. So I'm going to apply it more as a full colour now so you can see the colour and the effect actually of this colour. Another way actually while I'm quickly doing this I'm, I'm going to show you something else. If you just want to go over your lips and then use a really small fluffy brush you can still overdraw but get that soft edge. It's a bit like using the applicator but it's even more blurred. Oh, I need to stop talking. <gasps> Smudging. So that's a full application but with more of a fluffy soft edge. So I've let that dry down again so you can see the final colour and I absolutely love, this is my version of a Korean lip if you like because I get to cheat my lower lip but I still have that really soft fluffy Korean type of look. Um, so yeah that is rain. So the next shade I'm going to use is Affair and this is based on Velvet Affair and it's a beautiful creamy caramel brown shade. I'm going to apply this as a full lip. So that is a fair. I love this colour. Another one I love. This product is vegan. It is obviously cruelty free, obviously, and um, it's fragrance free as well. So you don't get that kind of feeling when you're applying it of a powerful perfumey scent because it's it's fragrance free. And that I think is dried down anyway now. So that is a fair. Ah, so one thing I did forget to say was how to remove this product from your lips. So at the end of the day, it's obviously a stain and it's quite intense as a stain. So you can't just wipe it away and lots of like things like cleansing milks, which tend to work more on the surface, they're not going to be able to break it down. So what I do recommend is something that is oil based. So for example, you could use a micellar, but use quite an oily one. This um, Bifacil Visage by um, Longcom is a good example of that. So you have got good oil content in there. Or you could just use a cleansing oil. Or you could use, if you use a cleansing balm that's quite oily, that's also really good. I'm, I'm going to use my cleanser because it does have um, lots of oils in. And I'm just going to show you how to remove it. So this has been on not that long. So it's going to be easier to remove. But if it had been on for hours and hours, it's it really sets in. Particularly if you're using one of the stronger shades. So I'm just going to soak because um, I don't want to cleanse my whole face, obviously. So I'm just going to show you that you do need to give it a little rub with the oil. And then it comes off fine. That's off. So it's not difficult to remove. It's more about having the right formula to remove it. I'm going to give one more go over, just a little massage of that. If I do this actually and remove it with my cleanser, I leave it on as a lip mask, particularly at the moment while my lips are destroyed. Must remember to drink more water, especially when I'm traveling. So that's the best way to remove it. So on to the first red in the collection and this is Dragon which has become one of my favourite reds. It's a really soft rusty red with quite warm yellowy undertones 
And um, I just think this works so well as a liquid lip as well. It works really nice as a soft blurry lip and also nice as a full on pout. So I'm just gonna blot my lip balm. I just popped a bit of lip balm on. So I'm just gonna show you this one first as more of a soft fluffy stain. So I'm gonna put it over a bit more than a Korean lip, but I'm gonna sort of pop it on like that. And I'm gonna use a really small brush just to soften those edges. A soft eye brush, a small eye brush, I mean. Got it on my teeth that time. So that's just a really soft way to wear it. Um, I love this color like this. Sometimes as well, I've tried it with the Dragon Lip Gloss on top. So once it's kind of really set, put the Dragon Lip Gloss on top and it's like, oh, heaven. It's kind of on fire, but in a, a really subtle way. I can't really describe it. It's one of those reds that it just feels earthy and soft, even though it's obviously quite a bright color. So I'm now gonna show you it full on. It's really nice that tip just to cheat those edges as you're going around and wanting to get more volume. Oh, because it's so sort of fluffy, I'm kind of brush on your lip line. It's really nice and kind of, I don't know, it's, you can't really see that you've overdrawn. And that effect, obviously it needs to dry a bit. It's so hot in here today. But that effect, once it has dried down, there you go. It is a really kind of soft focus, flattering matte, which even on the driest lips looks good. So that is Dragon. So next I'm gonna show you blush, which is based on velvet blush. And this is a really nice berry shade. So it's a real deep pink berry. So that's blush as a full on double application. So you can see the full effect of the color. It's a really powerful berry tone with a nice cool undertone. So it definitely helps to make those teeth look whiter. I was actually gonna say it also works really beautifully as a just eaten berry stained, but now I really wanna show it to you because um, I've forgotten how much I love this color. So I'm gonna take this off and now show you it as a berry stain. And that's how it looks. It's just a really soft stain. So I've just put a tiny dot on, on my top and bottom lip, and then use my finger. Just gone over the edge there. Just to pat. And I love that. Just looks so soft. So that is blush as a stain, a soft stain. So the next shade I'm going to apply is Jazz. And this is my true vintage 1930s deep red. I think I'm just gonna apply this one as a full on thing, or shall I do a stain? Ah, hmm. Let me see. I think I'm just gonna do the full lip because I know this video is getting quite long now as well.
So that's just one dip and you can see you can do a full lip with that. And sometimes with the darker shades, when I've used lip, liquid lips in the past, they start to get a bit patchy. Whereas this one, you will really have a nice even application. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on to go up the drama. Once this sets, this will be going nowhere. So it won't be coming off on your glass or your cup or anything else. So that is the full on effect of jazz. So I did three dips and just really kind of put it on quite opaque because I feel like with this color, you either want to do a really light stain, just a fluffy little tap or really full on because that is what gives you that full silent movie femme fatale look and I absolutely love this colour. Oh my god, with these they just go on so nicely so they are pretty foolproof I'd say. Last but not least the OG and this is Ribbon. This is a classic pillar box red with blue undertones and it is, it suits everyone. I can safely say that now because it's been out Velvet Ribbon, True Velvet came out, is it four years ago or is it five years ago? And I forget with the pandemic. And I just have so many people sending me pictures of them wearing it, all different age groups, different skin tones, and everyone's like, this is the perfect red. So I can safely say this suits everyone. So I'm going to put it on as a full on lip because let's go out with a bang. Now that I've got my shape, I'm going to go back in with a second dip just to get more coverage. I feel like with the brighter reds, it's quite good just to do one layer first, get your shape and then layer on top. I think I'm happy with that shape. So now I just need to let it finish off drying down. Actually, I'm just gonna tweak this side a little bit. You can, using that little end on the back there where it curves back, it's like a sort of fluffy duster. And then just massaging that. Just kind of cheat that edge in a nice soft way. That's better. Mm. And it dries down to a really nice soft focus matte, which I love. So that's it, that is ribbon. And um, I think I might have to zoom in on this one because look at this texture, it is heaven. It's a really, really soft focus matte that's like a velvety petal and it feels really really comfortable which one is your favorite which shade is your favorite which effect is your favorite please let me know in the comments I thought I knew my favorites but now that I've put them all on again and kind of spent time again trying the different effects I've got confused I feel like because this had this jacket on I was loving affair when I first put it on because it matched so well but then when dragon went on I was like this goes well with this jacket as well blush looked amazing Jazz and actually Velvet Ribbon is such a classic. So I don't know. I don't know which is my favorite. I kind of love all of them. So if you have any more questions, uh, if you want to know, if you want any advice about shades or about application, please do message me either. You can leave a comment below here on YouTube or you can message me on Facebook or DM me on Instagram. My, either myself or one of my team, I've got some great makeup artists working on my team, can help you. That's it. I think you're going to love them. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.